Hello everybody, it's Dory here. Welcome back to my channel. I recently invested in a new microphone or a microphone period. I'm just slowly starting to uh, improve my videos. One thing that was like kind of irking me, as you guys know, I'm very sensitive to sound. One of the things that was kind of irking me when I was editing my video was the sound of my iPhone capturing my voice. Um, if you guys understand what I'm talking about, it was just kind of like putting me off. Uh, so I decided to invest in a little microphone and um, the last couple of videos that I uploaded, you may be able to hear a sound difference in comparison to my other ones. Let me know. I definitely was able to, especially when the only time I was able to film was outside on my front porch. Um, and it was a very windy day. We've had plenty of windstorms here in Las Vegas and the microphone completely like captured my voice and my voice only and all the wind and commotion that was going around me was not in the video so i feel like it was a good investment let me know if you hear a difference and yeah let's just get into the video okay so i wanted to come in and do my favorite bags in my collection the last collection video i did it was my most worn so I thought it would be interesting to show my favorite bags that I have right now. I think I have about six sitting here. It would have been seven, which would have been my Rogue top handle, but the only reason why that's not a favorite is because it's crossbody and it's not the color that I would have wanted. Uh, so I just kind of left that in the garage. A lot of the bags that were featured in my most worn were only there because I was new and I just wanted to carry them and everything. But what makes this different is because I know that these are my favorite bags that I have in my collection right now because I think about them when I'm not in them. I can't wait to wear them the next time and things like that. And that's kind of what I'm struggling with right now and why I don't want to buy more because I love a lot of the bags that I have right now and I want to wear them. I don't want to get distracted by uh, more purchases because I haven't given myself enough time to wear the ones that I love. So I usually stay in my bags for about two weeks if I love them and that's kind of how I know where they stand. So yeah, in no particular order, we're gonna get right into it. The first one I'm gonna grab is a Pillow Tabby in the color Deep Berry. And this is always surprising when they, it enters into the video because when I first got this bag, you guys know I was so unsure about it. But I have been thinking about this bag ever since I changed out of it and I can't wait to wear it again. Um, I kind of left the chain strap. I prepared it for the next time I want to wear it because last time I wore it crossbody and I want to wear it over the shoulder. So as you can see, um, I, I like to dress in color. So I have on this teal top from Amazon. I have this on because it's, it's still windy today so the wind gets into my ears. So I have like a little beanie on. I just went to the park today and I like the way this looks with color. Um, it looks okay with just neutrals, like I've worn it with just white tee and um, blue jeans and things like that. But I don't feel like I have any trouble styling this at all. I just kind of wear it with whatever. Um, this puffy tab can be kind of annoying because like, as you can see, it's just like anywhere now that I have like my chain strap. So I do have to readjust it here and there, but this is, I can safely say that this is one of my favorite bags in my collection. It fits a decent amount. Uh, in my vlog, I think I show what it fits, but I can do an update on this, a close up if you would like. But it's an older bag, so I figure there's plenty of pillow tabby videos out there. But yeah, I keep it stuffed. It is, it fits a decent amount, and I'm like really surprised, especially with the, uh, the pillow texture, it does expand a bit. So yeah, this is like one of my favorite bags. I know it is because of how I still think about it and pull it out just to look at it and things like that. So I don't see myself getting rid of this anytime soon. I really like the pillow tabby, especially this color. I don't think I'll buy another one because I'm kind of just content with just having this one, but it's my favorite. Another favorite bag of mine is one that I haven't worn since I got it. And I think I only stayed in this one for one week, but when I did wear it, I wore it with the chain strap, this one, and I also bought a gold chain to it. But it is actually my quilted studio. I got this quilted studio on Poshmark, and it turns out a member of the Coach Gone Rogue group that I'm part of on Facebook actually sold this to me. I had posted that I had received it and how much I loved it. And she wrote a comment, she's like, oh my God, I'm the one who sold you that bag. So that was really cool. 
Um, it's been sitting in storage, so I have a little bit of dimples in there, uh, which is it's kind of annoying, but at least with my, um, my pillow tabby, once I like resituated it and took it out of wherever it was under, um, the pillow, I mean, the dimples kind of relaxed and got out of it and it was smoothed again. Um, after I keep it from like laying on its chain and things like that. But the reason why I haven't worn this so much um, is because like, if you see right here, it is a bit bulky and it's a structured bag. So I did have a good, uh, easy time wearing it. I wore it crossbody when I did wear it, and I did buy a separate, love it. I did buy a separate gold chain so that I can wear it um, like this, but have it short shoulder. I don't have that with me right now to show you. It's probably somewhere in the box. I really like this. I had an easy time wearing it. One of the things is that when I was in a rush, this clasp, clasp thing kind of got in the way. Um, so like, I, if I would have to rush, I had to just leave this open until I can get around to it. But otherwise, it was an easy carry. Um, it wasn't super heavy. It had a little bit of weight to it because it is structured, it is quilted. Um, but I did not have any trouble with this chain. I feel like this chain lightened the load and it didn't dig. Um, so I really enjoyed this bag. And even though I only wore it for that one week, this is another bag that I've been thinking of and I love the gray. I like that when I wear bright colors, this gray kind of like soothes and mellows it out. And it's like kind of unexpected to see uh, a gray bag paired with so many colors. So I like this bag a lot. It fits an okay amount. Um, I didn't have to like reorganize the things, but I did have to pay a little bit of Tetris here and there, but it wasn't hard to get things in and out of if that makes sense. So yeah, my quilted studio, kind of sad that they don't make these anymore, but I'm definitely happy that I got it and I got it in the dove gray because this was like, when I first started getting the handbags, this is one of the ones that I was just like so taken by and I just, I just needed to have it. And it took me close to a year to finally find one that somebody was willing to give up in this color, perfect condition. So I'm really grateful to have this one. I can't wait to wear it again. So now, I'm gonna talk about a couple of bigger bags and I'm gonna start with my YSL Nikki in the medium size. I get so many questions about this bag, even though like when I did post about it, it was one of my first videos, I think, I can't remember. I didn't really get a lot of views or feedback on that video, so I was surprised that people had um, questions about it. But now that I am, like, I'm holding this bag and I always talk about how super light it is, that's why I love it. Um, but now that I'm holding it, it actually feels like a small bag now. And I think it's because I've been carrying so much Dooney. Dooney and Burke's leather is really good. The Florentine is really nice, but I can now see what people mean by it's a heavy bag because now that I'm carrying this bag, the Nikki, this suddenly feels like super small. This is really light. I can, it's nothing in here except for like some stuffing. Um, and I kept my wallet, my YSL wallet in there just so I know where that wallet is and to pair it with it whenever I do wear it. But I like this bag. I don't wear it cross body, but you can. You just drop the chain, put it around, and if it's cross body, this is how it looks. I haven't worn it like that, but I do like the option. I'm not the biggest cross body person. And even when I'm holding my toddler or pushing the stroller or walking miles and miles up and down the Vegas Strip, this carries a ton, water bottles, multiple water bottles, um, extra food, snacks, diapers, anything, and it's still super light. It only picks up like a little bit of the weight, but that's the main reason why I like it. And I like the crinkled leather. If you look at it, you see the wrinkling and everything in the leather. That is so beautiful to me. And it makes me feel like I can throw it around and dump it around and not have to worry about it. And YSL was my favorite brand when I first started making videos and stuff. But if you watch my last video about my, um, my coach collection, my, like my wallets, I was talking about my YSL wallet and how I was so disappointed at how it wore. And it hasn't even been a year. So now I don't even know if I can call YSL my favorite brand. Even though I really do love this bag, I'm not sure if I'm willing to buy another something <laughs> from them just because of that wallet. Like I'm just kind of peeved by that. But this one, it was kind of pricey. I got it secondhand. 
this retails for over $3,000. I got it for about half that, um, secondhand, perfect condition. Um, I still think that half that is kind of like overpriced. Like I don't like to spend a whole lot all the time on my handbags. I kind of like to, I get more excitement when I get a good deal on something I love. This was considered a good deal because it's already way high in price, but you know what I mean? I like the good deals from like Coach or good deal from like Dooney, like getting really good quality without having to be like, damn, really? You want a couple grand? Really love this bag. I am never getting rid of it. Every time I pull it out, I'm like, oh, I need to wear that again. But I'm trying to cycle through my bags to make sure I want the ones that I've already picked up. But the YSO Nikki, Nikki, the medium size is amazing. I don't know if I'll go any smaller than this, but I've been seeing a lot of these bags on resale all the time in this size, various different colors that I will want, like the smoke or the fog, all the different grays. The green, the burgundy, like they're all beautiful. So if you were interested in this bag, I will check out the Real Real or Fashion File. They're always there and you know, they start to dip down in price, especially the Real Real. That's where I got this one from. And for the condition and the price that it is retail, I think I got a good deal. And to get it situated, I had a little, little bit overstuffed, but the next bag I wanna talk about is the bag that I just climbed out of. This is the Duty and Burke Florentine Twist Strap Hobo. Um, this bag was so weird when I first got it because it came like this. It just looked like a piece of leather and the strap was like this. I was like, oh no, I'm not gonna like this. But it's stuffed right now, so it's still not giving its full shape. But when I put my stuff in, I only have like this much stuff usually. So this sinks all the way down and it has a really nice smile. I really love this bag. This is a really cool everyday bag, plenty of organization on the inside. Um, it ha even has like, all Dooney bags have like the key keeper where you can just like, it's like a leash and you pull it out, it's on the side. And you could like snap your keys in there so you could just grab the leash, unlock the door, throw it back in your bag. But it has so much organization. It's just so easy, especially since it's a big bag and I have like my pouches and wallets and things like that. It was just so easy to carry. Um, I think my only complaint is like, sometimes when I'm in a rush with my toddler and stuff, I don't like to take off my bag to get into it. So because the smile goes down, that was the only thing because like going like lifting up the smile, going like this and opening it and saying kind of like fiddling around, it was a little cumbersome in that regard. But I know a lot of people, they just take off their bag easily, unzip it or whatever. So I would say that was like the only thing. But otherwise, strap was comfortable. This is comfortable. I felt like I looked okay with it. Like I didn't really, like I didn't feel like I was like super fashionable. Like, you know, like the, the YSL or the coach or whatever, where you just kind of feel like, oh, dude, this is like a cool bag. I felt like this was a cool bag, easy to look at, but when I was wearing it, it just felt like the most practical option for me. And then when I would like put it down and set it up, I'll probably insert some B-roll. I love the way it looked, like it just looks so gorgeous to me, especially when it's actually being worn and the smile sinks down deeper. I just really love looking at it with the charm and my, uh, my AirPods and everything hanging on it. I loved the look of it, I loved wearing it, and it was really hard to change out of when it came to the next bag. I stayed in this bag for two weeks, two or two and a half weeks, I can't remember. But I, hadn't, I didn't really care to ever change out of it. It's navy, neutral, it went with everything. It looked different than what anybody else was wearing around here. I'm in Vegas, so people wear a lot of luxury here. So it just gave me a different vibe and I felt really comfortable and I felt like life was just easy breezy in it. So um, I really like the Florentine Twist Strap Hobo. I think I'm okay with just, with just this one as well. I don't think I will seek out another one. That goes for most of my bags. I'm happy to just have one, one in the one color. <laughs> okay, next up, you guys already know, you can see the strap and I already know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> This is my Florentine Messenger. You guys know, I haven't even taken off the little charm. I bought this charm for it. It's like a pink little fox. But I really love this as well. So this is kind of like a smaller bag. I like how it just goes with your body. Like it's not protruding out. It's not like dumpling. It just 
go straight up and down. That's one of my favorite things about it. I like wearing it with skirts and like tank tops and the strap looks kind of stick out visually. It gives some visual interest on both sides. Um, gold plated hardware, heavy, sturdy. Um, I feel like Duty and Burke makes like the best quality bags I've ever touched, I've ever seen. Uh, even with Coach, like I'll always stop, shop with Coach. I believe in their quality as well. But there's something about Dooney and Burke quality, the craft of it. It just makes you appreciate it in a historical kind of way. Like when you think about bags way back when, how they were made, it seems like they just never stopped. And I appreciate that. They're not trying to keep up with the Joneses or anything like that. They're just like, listen, this is what we do and we do it well. And they have like a cult following and I'm part of it now. Yeah, this is super easy carry. Um, my AirPods, everything. Sometimes I stick my AirPods up here. Most of the time, if it's in my hand, I just throw it in here. My iPhone 13 fits in the back pocket as well. I could put both in there. When I was carrying my YSL wallet with this, I could fit that in there as well. It has the key keeper and all the same pockets Dooney and Burke has on the inside as well. So if you didn't do the pouch method, you have plenty of organization features to help keep your smaller things intact in the Dooney and Burke um, items. It's just all about if it's your style because Dooney and Burke, they don't have trendy type of pieces. They just have Dooney, you know, <laughs> that's how I feel. So this, it just feels like me. This was one of the bags where I kind of wanted it in the second color, but I was trying to be good. So I wasn't able to get the black Florentine that came out. Like it came out maybe a week or so after I received this in the mail. Um, and I was like, you know what? I just got this bag. Let me just enjoy it before I go ham and get another one. <laughs> but lo and behold, it sold out and it hasn't come back yet. So <laughs> this is my Florentine Messenger. You guys all know I've been ranting and raving since I got it. I love this bag. Like, I hope it never goes away. I hope this, I think it'll last for a long time, but I feel like I'll be really sad once it becomes so worn and beat up that I'm not able to wear it or find it again. <laughs> so I really love this bag. Um, and there's not much to say, like it's just, it's just a beautiful bag. Okay, last but not least, I think this is the last bag I have to show you guys. This is the bag that I'm currently in. I recently revealed it to you guys in one of my last videos, but it is the Carrie Hobo. And I've been having trouble getting this color to show up properly on camera. I posted it in the coach group as well, and it came off khaki and I'm looking at it and it's coming up khaki, khaki again on the screen. It's much brighter. Hopefully I can assert some more clips or pictures of me in this bag so that you can see. But this bag is such a dumpling. Like it's such a dumpling. And the slouch paired with the zipper tabs is just so cute. It just sits on my dining room table unused just like this. And it just looks so cute. Like it's just, it's the cutest little thing. And it's really not little. As you can see, my hand is right here in the center. It's a, it's a decent sized bag. Like you guys know, I can't really do little bags, but yeah, this is the slouch. I love it. So this is the hobo style bag. Um, on my tippy toes, easy to get in and out of without having to take it off. And it holds a decent amount. I've already showed you guys, um, how it looks with everything in there, but it could fit so much more like the case that I have for my uh, microphone I could fit in there. So if I have to film anything on the fly, um, when I'm out and about, I can do that and have very clear sound because I can carry my microphone case. I can carry anything I might need in this bag and not have it be too massive on my frame. So even though I have what feels like a lot in here, I don't feel like it's heavy. So that's good. Uh, I'm not sure if it will change because you guys know I like the strap extender because if it wasn't, it'll be like this and it'll be like a armpit bag. I like the strap extender added so that you can see the slouch is not rubbing against my armpit. You know, my charms could dangle freely and it could be more comfortable. So um, I've been wearing this. Um, I wore it for the first time out today. Say the same shirt, colorful. I think it looks well with it and yeah, like, like a lot of my bags that I've pulled out, if you can't tell, they're very simple. They're very easy to get in and out of.
for the most part, not the twist strap hobo, but they're very easy. They're very just simple, like just a great piece of leather with great style. Um, I love the slouch. I love easy compartments. I love dump and go. These are things that I'm learning about myself. I like things that feel like me. Like people can look at a bag from across the room like, oh yeah, that's Dory's bag, can you go grab it? You know, without even having to remember what bag I was wearing that day. They just know the style of it was probably suited to me. Um, I like that kind of a vibe. Um, I like easygoing bags. I don't like a whole lot of, uh, I guess, flash on my daily basis. Like I kind of just like to feel good in what I'm wearing and have that kind of like, what is that? kind of thing to it where people could just stare at it and know it's beautiful, but they don't really care who it's by. They're just like, wow, that's a really beautiful thing to look at. <laughs> Cause that's how I feel. Like if I'm just at home all the time and I haven't been out the house in a minute, just having this perched up or my Florentine messenger or something perched up on the kitchen counter or on the dining room table, just hanging out. You know, a lot of times I like to keep my bag open too. So that like if I need anything, if I need to transfer something into my Lululemon belt bag, I can just go in there, boom, take it out, put it in my bag and leave, come back, take it out, put it in this bag. I do that a lot with like my wallet and stuff. Um, but I just like simplistic bags. And that's something that I'm noticing about myself. Like I don't need a whole lot of bells and whistles, they like to say, you know, I just like something that's beautiful, but kind of like a what is that? I like a good curve to it. I like a good slouch. I like a good wave to it, <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, um, I hope this video was informative and helpful to you. And I will talk to you soon, bye. <laughs>